Hey guys, it's Agonis Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with AR Foundation and URP. We're actually going to be creating a portal and using what's called an stencil, which is going to be an option that we're going to have in the URP profile. So I'm going to be showing you what you see playing behind the scenes, which is a portal that has different objects and I want to make it, you know, very Christmas-like because I want to bring the spirit to my channel. So I'm going to be walking you through everything that you see playing behind the scenes and then we're going to be jumping into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, I'm really excited today because I'm gonna show you how to create this Christmas portal. I, I was going to release this video before, but I, I, unfortunately I got sick with COVID, and, but I'm doing a lot better, so nothing to worry about it. So what we're gonna be doing is you know, creating this and I'm gonna recreate the portal and we're gonna create the glass. And if I look through here, you can see that there's some objects that we can see only through this you know, transparent glass. And the reason for that is because I'm using something called stencils. And the cool thing about it is that it's actually going to be very simple because most of the work is going to be done in the URP profile and the profile is going to determine, you know, what get renders, what, what, you know, what point do we cut off and create something called something that is resembled to a mask. If you guys have done, you know, masking in Photoshop, you're going to, you're going to relate that to what an stencil is. So if you go into the portal here, you're going to see that we have you know, we have the top, we have the left wall. Well, we actually have the wall. I call this one the wall, which is what's going to have what's the mask. And then I also have the right part, the bottom part, the particle system, which is what you see right here. And I also created a particle system and I wanted to collide with the wall so that it looks a little more realistic. I also wanted to do it more with like a low poly and those, and there's also collisions in it. I'll just walk you through how the particle system looks like. And then I also have a few decorations in here. I'm using an asset from the asset store just for the, you know, for the Christmas, Christmas spirit. I also have a couple of lights in here on the very top. So if I enable lighting, you're going to see how that looks like. So if we go into the particle system and have lighting, this is what basically we're going to be, we're going to be building. So the, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to leave this portal here, but we're going to be recreating it so that I can show you everything, you know, how that's done from scratch. I'm also going to be doing the rendering, the actual URP rendering profile from scratch. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to be creating a mask and I already have it in here, but I'm going to recreate it because I know that this is going to be helpful for you to understand how it works. So if we go in here, you're going to go into a shader and then we can create, you know, a standard surface shader, an only shader, and we can just pick anyone. I'm going to just be recreating those. So mass, we can just call mass, uh, I'll just call it mass two so that we can, and then just double click on it. It's actually gonna be a very basic shader and this is gonna add a lot of stuff that we don't need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these and we're going to need the tags. I'm also going to need the pass. So just gonna go ahead and remove everything inside the passing here. It's gonna be very simple though. This one is going to be set to transparent. And then on the pass, I'm just gonna do the Z write off. And we're just gonna do here. And I also want to show you what that means if we go into, let's go ahead and go here into the manual. And what the C write off is doing is basically controlling whether pixels from these objects are written to the depth buffer. By default, it's set to on, so we need to turn it off. Otherwise, what we're going to be building is not going to work. If you want to read more about the Z write and basically how to create custom shaders, make sure that you look at this documentation because it's, it's really helpful. Okay, so that's the only thing that we need in there. I'm also, let's go ahead and go back into Unity. I'm also going to be creating a material from this. I'm just gonna go ahead and create, and then we can just material, and it's just gonna say, it's gonna be named the same, you know, the same way. I'm just gonna name it mass, mass two, and it's gonna be similar to that one. Just wanted to recreate it. Okay, so now that we have the mass, what I'm gonna do here is, I also have these objects in here. Let's go ahead and turn them off so we don't have a lot of things in their rendering. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a new, just a new object. We can just call this one a plane. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and rotate it. Let's go ahead and rotate it about 90. Let's do negative 90. I think that's fine. And it's going to be huge, right? So we're just going to do, and let's go ahead and turn off lighting so that we have, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just use this as a reference so that we have about the same size on the portal. I'll do something, something like that I think works. Okay, so now that we have that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and assign the material that we created, which is mass two, to the plane. We can just drag it and drop it here. You can kind of see that now we, you know, we have a we have something that is transparent. 
And, and that's cool, but we can't really see anything through. Even if we were to enable these ones here, you're going to see that we can, if I go into the actual plane, well, the reason why it's working is because we, we, we have the rendering profile. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and put these right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the portal. Now that we have kind of like a rough reference, and this is going to be the wall. We're just going to do a wall. But you can see that we can't really see anything through a wall right now. So it's going to go ahead and put it right about here. And the reason for that is because we haven't really assigned the right, the right layer. And that's going to be the next thing that we're going to do. There's two things that I want to show you that you need to add. You're going to add what's called, I, you can name these ones, you know, any, anything you want. I call it the mass and I call it, and I have another, another layer called inside portal. So you can do this, you know, you can do window, you can do, you know, glass, and then whatever you have inside the glass or the portal, you can call whatever you want. I, I decided to call it inside portal. So once you have those two, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your wall here, and then you're going to be assigning the, you know, the mass is going to be assigned to what you're going to be seeing through, which in my case is going to be, you know, I, I call it the mass. And now you can see that the objects are rendering cor correctly. That's, that magic, it doesn't happen automatically. So it's going to show you, I'm going to show you how that would look like if you didn't have my setup. So we're going to go into settings and I'm going to create a new rendering profile. So if we go into, let's see, where did I put that? Or Unity, where did you put that? And you're going to be creating a new asset. So I'm just going to go ahead and call and, and select pipeline asset. Okay, so now that that is created, I'm going to go ahead and change the view here so we can see. So we now have two different ones in here and also the one that I already created. Let me go ahead and rename this so that it makes more sense. Perhaps let's give it a different name. I'm just going to call it two. And then this one, I'll just call it as well two. And if you click on it, you're going to see that we have that file assigned to it. And that file is the one that controls, you know, what's happening with the rendering engine. And we're going to be assigning a couple of things in here. So before we do that, let's go ahead and go into File, Build Settings, Player Settings, and I'm going to go into Graphics. And we need to assign our new pipeline asset, which is going to be number two, which is the one that we're going to be working on. Let's go ahead and close out of that, close out of that. OK, so now you can see that the mass is not visible. And the reason for that is because we haven't really assigned what's called an extensor to it. So I'm going to click on Add Feature, and we're going to be adding the AR Background Render feature. This is going to be what we're going to need to be able to, you know, exclude all the different, the sky and all the different components that are needed to be transparent in AR. And then I'm going to click here and I'm going to add a new render object. This one I'm going to be calling it the mask. And I'm going to be adding another one and another render object. And this one is going to be called inside portal. I'm going to keep the names the same as the mask so that we, as the layers, so, uh, so that everything makes sense. And then I'm going to change a couple of things in here. Let's go ahead and expand it. Make sure that you go into these objects here. Otherwise, the changes, this is a little bit buggy. I hope Unity fixes that because if you change it in the parent object, sometimes it doesn't change it on the child object. As you can see, the name didn't get changed for some reason. But that's fine. It's, it's still going to work. I'm going to change the event on the mask. And this one is going to be set to before rendering of packs. And also going to be changing the layer mask here. It's going to be mask assigned to mask. And then on the stencil, we're going to be changing a couple of things. I'm going to set this number to a 1. And then on the compare function, we're going to be using greater. And on the pass, I'm going to be using replace. This is everything we need to do on this render object. On the other render object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to be before rendering of packs. And then this one is going to be inside portal. And I'm also going to be enabling the stencil. And this one is going to be a little bit different. I'm also going to be changing it to 1, but the value here on the compare function, we're going to be setting it to equal. Let's make sure that that works. And that's everything we need to do there. Let's go ahead and go back into this component here. We also need to make sure that the filtering here, we're going to be disabling mass. I'm also going to be doing that on the transparent layer mass. I'm also going to be doing that to the, to the actual inside portal. And you can now see that you know the, the mass is working as it's supposed to work. OK, so now that we have that selected, we can now start looking at you know, building or portal. And to be honest, the portal is, is fairly easy. So I, I don't think I should be spending time building that where I already have it built. So I wanted to show you how the wall had to be built. So let's say that you wanted to add another object just so that it was visible just through this portal here. Then what we can do is if I wanted to create a new object, it's going to show you how this is going to work with any type of object that you have. If we go here and just create a new cube, let's see that everything is, is rendering right now, right? Because we don't have the right layer associated with that component. But if I go into layer, 
and then assign it to the inside portal, you're going to see that that now has, you know, is rendering only through that wall. So we, go ahead and, we can go ahead and get rid of that. And let me go ahead and delete it. So what I'm going to do is on the wall here, we can, re we can remove that. We already have it built, so I don't think I should be spending time, you know, rebuilding something that is already built. But the cool thing about this is I want to show you a couple of things, right? Ha this has that multiple components. They're just, you know, different walls, and I'm, I just have a wood material associated with each piece. The particle system was pretty cool because if I go ahead and play it, because I added a couple, you know, I wanted to collide with the, with the meshes. If you look at these, they have, for example, the woods, they have a box collider, and that's why the particle system is colliding with it. So if you go into a particle system, and you look at the, oh, that's the other thing. I wanted to show you how can we actually render the particle system only through that wall. It's not only, it's not used through the, through the layer. You have to actually go here into rendering. And if you look at the material here, I have a snow material associated with it. I also have a trail material. But the important part is here, it's going to be layer 9. Layer 9 is going to be the inside portal layer. So if I were to change this to, let's say I change it to a different layer. Actually, that's not what it, con what it controls it. So I think it's, oh, here we go. It's actually a masking component in here. If I say no masking, and we were to restart the particles, they're going to be, you know, rendering everywhere. So what you need to do, you need to make sure that this is only render visible inside the mask. You guys can see how now that works. I thought for some reason it was going to be the rendering layer mask, and it, it turned out to be the masking option that actually fix, you know, that, I, that only the particles get rendered through my, through my wall. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. I'm going to be putting this in GitHub. In fact, if I go back in here and look in GitHub, it's going to be under Dilmer V AR Foundation Portals. I'm going to make it available today through Patreon, and then in a, in a week or so, I'll make it available for, for everybody as a public repository. There was one thing that I wanted to mention as well, guys, that I didn't mention before I was finishing this video. So if you go to prefabs, you're going to see that I have a mess object. That mess object is the one that is going to control what the leader scanner is actually generating. So if I go into the components here, you're going to see that I have an AR mesh manager. That AR mesh manager has a mesh. So that mesh is basically assigned to that prefab. So let's go ahead and go into that prefab. That prefab is very simple. All it has is a mesh material. And the key here is to make sure the layer that this has is inside portal. The reason that I do that is because when the leader scanner starts scanning anything that is through the portal, it's basically going to only get rendered through the portal. So that's basically what does the magic with the leader scanner. So I know that I was missing something in this video. And that was the last thing that I wanted to mention. So again, guys, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.